Welcome to Down Home ADs, Exploring Life Every Day. In this video, I'm going to show you how to find your pattern size to make this cute romper. If you haven't done so already, download the free romper sewing guide from my website. Click the link below to get it. The first step is to take your measurements. For the romper, the main measurements you'll need is your bust, waist, and hips. Write them down in the My Measurements block. Next, locate the body measurements chart. You can usually find this on the envelope flap or the back of the envelope. Look for the pattern size that's closest to your measurements. My bust measurement is 33 inches, and the body measurement for size 10 is 32 and a half inches, while size 12 is 34. Since size 10 is the closest to my measurement, I'll go with it. My waist measures 28 inches, which corresponds to size 14, and my hips measure 38 inches, which is also a size 14. Now we want to find the finished garment measurement chart on the pattern. This is usually on the back of the pattern envelope, but can sometimes be on the first page of the instructions. Write down the measurements and sizing indicated on the pattern for the sizes corresponding to the body measurements you selected. The bust measurement for size 10 is 35 inches and the hip measurement for size 14 is 41 and a half inches. Unfortunately, this pattern does not include waist measurements. To understand how this garment is designed to fit, we need to determine the pattern ease. This will help you decide if you can adjust the size by simply changing the seam allowance. Plus, it will give you an idea if you'll like the recommended finished fit. If you prefer looser clothing, you might want to add some additional ease. If you prefer a closer fit, you can subtract some ease. To determine how much ease the pattern provides, subtract the body measurements from the finished measurements. Record your findings in the pattern ease section of the guide. This pattern has two and a half inches of ease in the bust and three and a half inches of ease in the hips. Now we're almost finished. Next, add your measurements to the pattern ease to get measurements plus pattern ease. The final step is to determine what size pattern you'll need. Compare pattern finished measurements to the measurements plus pattern ease to determine size and if you need to make any alterations. My measurement plus pattern ease for my bust is 35 and a half inches. The pattern finished measurement for size 10 is 35. This means I'll use a size 10 for the bodice. Because the pattern provides two and a half inches of ease, I'm not going to make adjustments for the half inch difference. The calculations for my hips are 41 and a half inches, and that is a size 14 with no alterations. For my waist, since it is 28 inches and the pattern body measurement for size 14 is 28 inches, I'm going to use a size 14 for my waist. What this all means is I'll cut a size 10 for the upper part of the bodice, grade the side seams to be a size 14 at the waist, and cut the shorts out in a size 14. According to my calculations, this should be the perfect fit, but I'm going to sew a mock-up to be sure. Thank you for joining me at Down Home Ideas. If you liked this video, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons. There's going to be more great videos coming soon. Happy sewing.